Hey guys, so the biggest thing we have learned with this whole journey is that you have to totally be flexible. You have to just learn to be flexible and glow, go with the flow because you never know what today is going to bring. So like right now we just got a package in the mail from UPS that we ordered for um, before Christmas. Before Christmas his chair for the driver's chair. So, what do we got going on here, Randy? So, this is the, well, when you call the, <laughs> I love this. I look it up on the internet and I find a website that advertises the price with the serial numbers and the part numbers that I need. So, I call them up to get them and they say I can't buy them. They have to get them from a dealer. Yeah. So, I tell her I need the airbag at the factory and she said, no, you need the air spring. And then when I called the other guy and said, I need the air spring, he said, you mean you want an airbag? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> but anyway. Anyhow, this is the old airbag. Here's the old airbag for the seat, the air right seat. Of course, that's supposed to be slid down over there. But I blew it up trying to find leaks in it. Anyhow, it wouldn't stay up. As you drive down the road, it would, uh, flat well the thing too that he's not telling you guys is we looked into buying a new seat but he really really liked the seat when he drove it home for three days other than it just um, wouldn't hold the air so he's like no I like my seat if I can get it fixed I want to get it fixed so so hence today I put a new piston down here already that little shock absorber thing yeah I put a new one of those in I got the new the new airbag bag. air spring in there and the other place so that's where the air goes in the little air connector and the other place that it was a problem that's where the air the air switch goes in there I got a new one of those it's like Christmas time and a new air switch and a new air switch I, I think with, this is what was really the matter with the system. With the hose. Yeah. I, I think that switch was leaking. But uh, I have a bad habit of fixing everything all at once. Eliminate the gnomes. The airlines come out of those holes right there. Out the back yeah, end Yeah, they snap of the, into those guys. The only thing I don't know is which is up and down. Oh well, it's just a matter of, you might push down to go up or up to go down. There you go. That goes in there. It looks like you're gonna push and back and these forward. Go here. One goes over there. And the other one stays under? Yep. Okay. And then this thing goes. And then it slides up into the chair. Holy we're all, hoses. We're all con contorted down on the floor. <laughs> Hold those back there. Okay. I have the hoses. So now we have got the chair turned on its side so we can see it a little bit better. Make sure we get everything locked into place. There. There you go. Switch back. Snapped into spot. So we have. So we have determined that we have the switch upside down. So Randy's trying to figure out how to pop it back out of there without breaking it. Hey. Huh? That was not a positive comment. I told him to just leave it and go with it. I think I'm gonna take your advice and do that. Because it looked like once you snapped it, you snapped it. It was it's in there. So now he's got to thread it back in. Let me pull these out of the way. He's kind of threaded behind the hole there. It's not that hard to take off and on. No, nope. it just snaps into place. Once you get the pressure yeah. coming out there, right? Uh, uh huh. And so now there's bleeding off there. So this one is the hair in, and there's a, that's the bleed. So we so, have it right. No, we don't. When you push down, it's going to go up. Well, 
so it's quirkiness. It makes Miss Mary be unique. So now he's hooking onto the airbag. No, I just stuck it on there to see. I shouldn't have stuck it on there. <laughs> this didn't have, come with any directions, did it? Nope. It's not that hard to do, though. Well, if anybody had played with these airlines, you have to push that. You push that thing forward and it lets it come out. But all you got to do to put it on is push it in. Oh. So all we need here is just enough slack. But we got to put the chair back where it goes before we can determine how much slack, how much much slack it has. Are you bolting it back down to the floor now? Yeah. Well, there's holes down in here. Three of them, right? Well, there's four of them, but we're only, no, we're only using three at the I'll moment. I'll just tighten up three of them. I'll go put those back on. Okay. Hasta la vista, baby. And if got any last words? I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> this is your holding wrench. Gotcha. So I'm going to take a time out and hold those bolts while he crawls under the bus to tighten them up. Well, you gotta remember it has to go up too. Yeah. Oh, but the air, yeah, so this air hose will go up when it goes up. So it's gotta have some slack, but not that much. Where I just poked it through the wall, or so, through the, yeah, that's just, the hole that came through there. And this is the connector that it hooked up to here. These things are amazing. So. See, when you want to get it out, uh -huh. you, have to push, you, huh? you push down on that and pull out. And to put it in, it's a nice clean cut. It's in. It's hooked up. Sweet. We're in the panel block there. Ooh, you have an air ride now, baby. You should have an air ride. You think it'll work? <laughs> Let's hope so. Okay, moment of truth. I got air pressure. Oh! That didn't sound good. But you are going up. He's going up. <laughs> See, that lets it down. Well, you ain't going down. Yeah, we got the on backwards. All right, if you hook... If you hook it up backwards, it pumps up and it won't go back down. <laughs> so I'm a little, oh, if it's hooked up backwards and you flip the switch to the bleeder side, it fills it backwards the wrong way, but it won't let, you can't let it back out. But this is hooked up backwards, so now. It's not gonna be long enough. Isn't it? So we have the chair raised, so he can get down in there. All right, so now I just switched that one back to there. And this one. Oh, you had a you have a little coupler. Good. Oh, they had one for me in there. Now it might work. Okay, but we need to take our block out, probably, huh? Oh, I think we have it now. Maximum lift, Captain! <laughs> we have an air seat! Okay, people, here is how the air seat is supposed to work. Ooh. I'm up. I'm yeah. down. <laughs> if you hook the lines up backwards, I don't even understand it. It just feels it filling up backwards, but it can't bleed out. So if I switched them. It, it works. works. <laughs> if it goes up and it doesn't come down, you might have your lines backwards. And, and I 
ready to go. Key, good. Key, so before we fix this, I'd be driving down the highway, and pretty soon I'm driving along, and I'll be like, "Wow, something feels funny." And then I realize I was sitting down here, and then I would pump it up and go, "Oh yeah, this is where I want to be up here, baby. This is the trip up here." Pretty soon, I'm back down here going. What is going on? So I replaced everything down there. So the most important thing in this whole lesson is my driver is happy. Yes, that's what we wanted. I like it has a a flipper here. Uh-huh. So there it's in slide mode. So, so, it, so you can drive freely? Yeah, well, it lets you take the bumps uh -huh, this way. Uh huh. And then, yeah, you can see that. It's uh -huh. actually softer now. That starts dropping, but once you get it up here to the top, it's it's pretty hard. That's hard there, but so if you go right there, now you got the bump this way. So you get this circular. It's like riding a horse, baby. We're going to get down the highway in this thing. All aboard, baby. I'm turning it off. Come on, get What's up, YouTube? I got my air seat fixed. I've been waiting since December. 